learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. I customize this last according to the fit measurements and as you know we customize it with a vegetable and leather and I explain it in my bespoke derby shoe course. But the problem here is that I use here not such a good leather with not good quality and during the work when I attach masking tape the edges peel off and here with the time with working with masking tape it also can uh, would peel off from the last okay here are the edges so to avoid it we can cover these parts of vegetable and leather with epoxy resin or with this fast glue super glue we will apply thin layer on all these parts and after it will dry we can also sand it a little bit with the sandpaper or leave it as it is if we will cover it good <laughs> if we will do it uh, well okay so before i will place here glue i will cover this part of the last where it hinged so it will not attach with the glue and after i will finish this work i, I could take this part off to to remove our shoes from the last okay so this part i will cover with masking tape or with another adhesive tape for example this one also good it's transparent so i can see where this line is to not attach it to not place here glue and also here where the last is divided on two parts where it hinged and on this side too and small piece here I can attach a bigger piece and then cut at the extra off. And you see it also peeled off. So I attach it again. And now let's open it and replace maybe a few layers. I will not work with the brush, I will work with some piece of cardboard to cover it smoothly when you have vegetable tan leather. work fast
it, if you place it unevenly, don't worry, we can sand the extra of glue after it will dry. Once we cover on one side, then we can move on to cover it on another side. What you need to do is to work fast because it's super glue that dries fast. Okay, once you applied one layer of glue, we need to wait until it will dry. And then we will check how it covered. And in the places where we have too much glue, we can sand it. If in some place I didn't place glue, we can place it again. Okay, so right now we need to wait a few minutes until it will dry completely. Now, after glue will dry, we can sand it because I can see that here I have too much glue and the surface is not uneven. So I will sand with sandpaper. I will start with sandpaper number 120. The grid number is 120. And then move on to more gentle sandpaper is uh, grid number 400. In some places you see the glue is peeled off, so I will place it again. It happened in the places where I place too much glue. So I will place it again.
head I don't need to place glue don't need to send because here I place it very smooth okay so now I will place another layer and with a piece of cardboard I will spread it well on the vegetable template now I will try to spread it evenly work with opened windows to insulate your working place because it has strong smell Okay, now I leave it and wait until the glue will dry. Now after glue will dry, we can take off all sellotape parts that we attached. Now it's very smooth and it will be very easy to work with, with masking tape. Everything will stay on their place, nothing will not peel off during the work. With this cover that we uh, used here, working with glue. Now uh, it's very important, sometimes it's very important uh, to have this possibility to have uh, to open our shoe last especially in closed shoes so to take this hinge off and because here I attached parts of vegetable and leather I will need to cut through this layer of vegetable and leather I just continue this line by eye smoothly until it will reach this plastic line the line that divided on two parts also here er, the place where we attached vegetable and leather that covers our hinge And 
before I will try to open it, I must be sure that I cut through entire surface of the vegetable tan leather. So cut it again a few times to be sure that you cut it. So maybe this is the reason why you uh, will not be able to open it. And let's try. I need to enter this sharp tool and uh, durable enough so it will not uh, break during this operation. <laughs> so pull, you, see, you heard this click, you see, I pull, I, I push, not pull, I push to open this hinged element. The, the, inside of this shoe last, there is small pin and when I push, it goes down and you will see, you will hear, uh, you will uh, hear the sound you see this is the sound you hear not see you hear this is the sound that means that i open this hinge okay and this is how we can open it and now let's close it, place it in the place where it must be and hit with the hammer. That's it. Now you can work with this last, your last that you already customized. Mm -hmm.